Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to my channel. In today's video is going to be a continuation from my last video from how to upgrade from the latest iOS version to the new iOS 11 beta. Now this is going to be the exact opposite and how to downgrade your guys' iDevice if you guys are running the iOS 11 beta but you guys do not like it because of battery life or whatsoever and you guys want to go back to iOS 10.3.2. So with that being said guys, let's get straight into this tutorial. Okay, so first off, as you can see from my iDevice, I am running on the iOS 11 beta, as you guys can see. I do have the little status bar up top in the left-hand corner. It has the bars instead of the actual dots in iOS 10. So I am running iOS 11 on my 5S. Now, next what you guys want to do is you guys want to go ahead and head over to the website called IPSW.me. Link will be inside of the description as always. And as of making this video, the signed IPSWs that you guys can downgrade from iOS 11 to is from iOS 10.3.2 or 10.3.2. 3.1 so if you guys are on iOS 11 you guys can get downgrade to these two exact iOS versions now if you guys are on iOS 10.3.2 and you guys want to go back to iOS 10.3.1 you guys can do that with this video as long as they are being signed at the moment now if you guys are not yet following me on Twitter you guys can go ahead and follow me there and I will tell you guys when iOS versions are not being signed anymore as well as when IPSWs are being signed so with that being said guys I'm gonna be showing you guys how to downgrade from iOS 11 beta to 10.3.2 3.2 so just go ahead and head over to the website choose your i guys i device and then choose which ios version that you guys want so i got ios 10.3.2 right here on my desktop now what you guys want to do is you guys want to go ahead and fire up itunes now where it says restore right here you guys going to go ahead and press shift restore if you guys are on windows or option restore on a mac now i'm gonna let you guys know that if you guys do any changes in ios 11 and you guys downgrade back to ios 10 the encrypted backup that you guys made on 11 will not work on ios 10 but if you guys have a backup for iOS 10 moving on 11, then it will work. So once you guys have that done, let's go ahead and press option and then restore since I am on Mac. I'm gonna go ahead and choose my IPSW right here. I'm gonna go ahead and press open and then restore and then you will see that iTunes is extracting the software. It should be done fairly quickly depending on your guys' computer speed and then your internet connection and after that it'll go ahead and go into the reboot process on your phone and you guys will see the apple logo with the little progress bar showing that the restore process is starting to take place so my phone just shut off right now and the apple logo just appeared and from here i'm just going to zoom past this part of the video so i will see you guys once it is done restoring All right, so here we go. My iPhone just finished restoring right now. I just got this little pop-up saying that it has been successfully done and it's gonna go ahead and restart for one final time. So from here, I'm just gonna launch up QuickTime Player since it should automatically detect it once it is back up and running. So I will be greeted into the welcome screen in a little bit. So I'll see you guys once that is done. All right, so as you guys can see, I just started up and I just finished the setup and let's go ahead, go ahead and go into the settings right here, go down to general and about. And as you guys can see, I am running on iOS 10.3.2, which shows that I successfully downgraded back from iOS 11 beta all the way back to this particular iOS version that is currently being signed at the moment. So with that being said guys, if you guys like this tutorial, go ahead and leave a like down below. We'll also subscribe to get tutorials just like this in the future, as well as videos regarding iOS 11 and a lot more information regarding the next jailbreak for iOS 11 if news is leaked. Also don't forget to follow me on my Twitter page and my Facebook page to be informed on anything jailbreak related and what's been going on in the jailbreak world. So with that being said guys, I'll see you guys in my next video. This is Elite Apple Hacks, signing out.